Computers have been around for more than 200 years. Mechanical calculators were created in the 19th century to address the growing complexity of number crunching problems, initially imagined by mathematicians and business people. By the turn of the 20th century, technological advancements had made it possible for computers to become bigger and more sophisticated. Computers nowadays are hardly recognizable from 19th century inventions like Charles Babbage's analytical engine, or even from the enormous machines that took up entire rooms in the 20th century like the electronic numerical integrator and calculator. The evolution of computers, from their rudimentary beginnings as number-crunching devices to their potent contemporary counterparts that surf the internet, play games, and stream multimedia. Although they appear to be a relatively recent innovation, computers have been around since the early 1800s. There has never been a single first computer or lone inventor in the history of computers. 1801. French businessman and inventor Joseph Mary Jacquard creates a loom that weaves fabric patterns automatically using punched wooden cards. Punch cards comparable to those used in early computers. A large number of scientists and mathematicians contributed to the progressive development of the computer. On the other hand, the 1930s are when the modern computer was first invented. In 1936, Conrad Zeus built the Z1, the first programmed computer, in his parents' Berlin living room. He put together metal plates, pins, and old film to make an add-slash-subtract machine. Zeus is recognized as having developed the first digital computer, despite the fact that his prototypes were lost during World War II. In order to assist the Army with ballistics analytics during World War II, John Mockley developed the ENIAC. The device was capable of solving thousands of issues per second. The large-scale ENIAC required a 1,500-square-foot room and weighed 30 tons to accommodate its 40 cabinets, 6,000 switches, and 18,000 vacuum tubes. Some people refer to this development as the start of the computer age. In the 1950s, Computers like the Joniac, which was originally referred to as a useful assistant for mathematicians, were only utilized for scientific and engineering study. Before 1965, mathematicians and engineers only had access to computers in a lab setting. The Programma 101 revolutionized everything by making desktop computers accessible to the general people. The typewriter-sized 65-pound device contained 37 keys, a built-in printer, and was the size of a typewriter. The personal computer as we know it today was introduced by an Italian invention. In the 1970s, the Xerox Alto was developed as a home computer with email and document printing capabilities. The design of the computer, which featured a mouse, keyboard, and screen, was what was most notable about it. This cutting-edge design would later have an impact on Apple designs in the decade that followed. Everybody, regardless of age, may use a personal computer thanks to the Alto PC's kid-friendly design. Apple's Macintosh was hailed as a game-changer for the computer industry in the 1980s. Consumer Reports praised the first Macintosh computer's dazzling exhibition of technical wizardry when Steve Jobs unveiled it in 1984. The Macintosh had a keyboard, mouse, and a 9-inch screen, just like the Xerox Alto. The computer, which cost $2,495 and weighed 22 pounds, received praise for its Windows and Icon interface. As the 1990s were a time for individual expression, Apple introduced the renowned customizable iMac Q3. After Steve Jobs returned to Apple in 1997, the iMac Q3 was introduced in 1998. The PC immediately gained notoriety for its transparent, bondy blue housing. A keyboard, mouse, and USB connections were all included with the 38-pound iMac. It was designed to be adaptable and portable. In the first five months, the business sold 800,000 laptops, saving Apple from extinction. The iMac is famous for being the first product to have Apple's trademark i moniker, which the company explained stood for Internet, Innovation, and individuality. The popularity of laptops grew in the early 2000s, especially after Apple introduced the MacBook Air. Steve Jobs shocked the audience at Apple's Macworld in 2008 by removing the first MacBook Air from a Manila envelope and displaying it to them. 
The perfectly crafted laptop, which was only 0.76 inches thick, completely altered the business landscape. Only a USB port and a headphone jack were added by Apple in place of the CD drive. The sleek gadget was $1,799 at the time. MacBook Pro, iMac, Dell XPS, and iPhones are just a few of the numerous computer types that are readily available on the market. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our videos.